Last time on Total Drama Redemption Island, tensions rose on the agitated alligators as the truth about brick flipping on the vote was revealed. Ravenous raccoons did as well in the challenge as Wayne did trying to ask Sammy out. And in the end, Sammy honored Ella's wishes and voted her out despite Tyler wanting to vote Joe out. Sammy tries to talk to Tyler and apologize for voting out Ella, but Tyler interrupts her by saying that what she did was messed up. What is she going to do next? Turn on him? Sammy says she would never do that, but Tyler says that from now on, they can go their separate ways. Tyler in confessional says that he can't believe that Sammy would do that. He thought they were a real group, but it turned out she was a snake, willing to betray him at any moment just like Alejandro. There are no good people here. Sammy in confessional says that she feels like she really messed up, but she's not entirely in the wrong for honoring Ella's wishes, right? Joe goes to Tyler and says that what Sammy did was terrible, he must feel really betrayed. Tyler asks what it has to do with her, and Joe says that if he wants a group that'll be honest with him, she will let him join hers. In confessional, Joe says he has no intention of bringing Tyler too far, but he's an idiot like Wayne and Raj, so he can be good for a vote at the very least. If there's anything she's learned, holding majority is the most powerful thing you can do. Tyler says he's not sure, he's mad at Sammy, but to betray Wayne like that would be kinda messed up. Joe says that it's not betraying Wayne or Sammy since Sammy cast at first blood. Wayne asks Raj how he can get Sammy to like him, and Raj says that it's just confidence. He got with Bowie because he knew that's what he wanted, and he made it work. Wayne in confessional says that in the next challenge, he's going to give 110% to show Sammy how much he loves her, since he will be doing 100%, and since there's extra 10% on top of that, then that's an extra 10% Sammy doesn't have to do. Damien goes to Justin and asks if they can please work together, and Justin says that he'd love to, but if his team sends him off to Boney Island again, he won't have a choice in the matter. Best thing he can do in that situation is just to turn them against Brick, or he can try and convince them to send Damien to Boney Island instead. Damien says in confessional that he really doesn't know how he will stay in the game longer, but he will have to do something, and fast. Chris welcomes them to their next challenge. In this challenge, teams will hang on monkey bars for as long as they can. The teams will be asked questions about their teammates. If they answer correctly, the whole team can let go of the bar and rest while the other team has to continue hanging. If you let go before you're allowed, a trap door will open and you will fall to the ground, eliminating yourself from the competition. Everyone begins hanging, and the first question is for Ravenous Raccoons. What is Tyler's favorite movie? Wayne answers that it's Kick It Like Cooked Ham, and Chris says that's correct. They may rest. Agitated Alligators, who is one of Eva's heroes? Axel says she can name all three of them, Cleopatra, Catherine the Great, and the Black-Footed Mongoose. Chris says that's correct, and they get to rest while the Ravenous Raccoons have to hang once again. Ravenous Raccoons, what sport has Joe won awards in? B falls, and Raj says that she's a champion shot putter, which Chris confirms that Joe did win an award in that sport. Agitated Alligators, which member of your team has gone to fashion school? Damien blurts out saying that it's obviously Justin before he's told it's wrong. And Brick and Confessional says that he told Damien that he went to fashion school a hundred times. How could he forget? Damien falls as well as Bierdo. Ravenous Raccoons, it must be nice to just relax and not have to hang. Axel yells to give them their question already and Chris obliges. Which member of your team is allergic to flowers? Everyone looks around a bit confused before they just agree to start hanging. Agitated alligators, what was Ella's favorite color? Everyone on the team doesn't know the answer to that, but Tyler says he can answer it. Chris says that if Tyler can answer it right, then the other team will have to hang. Tyler says that her favorite color is baby blue, and Chris says that that's correct. The other team hangs while Chris begins the next question. Ravenous raccoons, what is the one candy Raj dislikes? Wayne and Raj are not allowed to answer. Joe asks for Chris to repeat it, and so he does. Joe says that it must be an off day, can you repeat it one more time? Eva yells out, telling them to answer it before falling and Axel jumps down to check on her. Justin falls next and Brick says not to worry, he can handle it. In confessional, Brick says he can't handle it. Brick falls and Chris says that the ravenous raccoons are the winners. By the way, the answer was candy canes. Justin goes to Joe and says that he may be at risk of elimination. It would really help if they... Joe interrupts him by saying it was the plan already. Justin will go to Boney Island. Justin in confessional says that wasn't really what he wanted, but any time spent away from being eliminated is good, I guess. 
Damien writes a fake letter in Brick's name saying how he wants to go and he places it on Eva's bed. He thinks he hears people coming so he quickly goes out the window. Bierdo comes in the cabin alone and takes the piece of paper. At elimination, Chris welcomes them and says that it's been a while. He's happy to see them again. Same routine. Chef, tell them who sucked the most. Damien, your outburst cost your team a point in a vital moment. Axel, you dropped down to check on Eva when you should have stayed on the bar. Axel and Confessional says that Eva could have really been hurt. And Brick, you said you had it but fell moments later. You may be in over your head. And now, here's who is safe. Eva, Justin, Bierdo, Axel, and finally, Brick. Damien stands up shocked and asks why they would do that after Brick said he wanted to leave and Eva says that Brick never said that. Bierdo says that Damien must be imagining things and Damien realizes what happened and says that he must have gotten rid of the paper he wrote and Bierdo says that he's guilty as charged. Damien, while he is taken away, says that this sucks. He is on the verge of greatness, and then something destroys him every time. For once, he'd like to be on the winning side. And with that, Episode 7 of Total Drama Redemption Island is done. What did you think? Question of the week. Who is your current favorite character in Redemption Island? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Redemption Island.